everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah. For today's video, I am going to do the new to booktube tag that Trina from Between Chapters started. I will definitely go ahead and link her video down below in the description box. I was looking through all of the different book to, new to booktube tags and this was the one that I related to the most with the questions. These were the ones I really felt like I could answer well and they're just the ones that jumped out to me the most so let's just get on to it the first question here is where are you joining us from i am in las vegas nevada i've been here for about three years prior to that i was born and raised in arizona the second question is how old are you i am 24 years old question number three is why did you join booktube booktube is actually something that i just recently discovered um and ever since I discovered it, I've just been sucked into watching everybody else's videos. Um, reading and books have always been such a huge part of my life. Um, and a lot of my friends aren't into it as much as I am. So it's hard for me to really talk about books with them. So now that I've discovered this amazing group here on YouTube, just dedicated to talking about books, um, it just it got me really excited. and. The main reason why I joined this was to branch out and make those friends with the other booktubers so that I did have those connections and friends to talk with about all of these amazing books that I'm reading. Question number four is what is the meaning behind your channel name? I chose the name The Bibliophile because I feel like that is the perfect word to describe what I am. Um, basically what it means is just a lover of books, um, even could be an obsessive collector, which I definitely can be. Um, these two shelves behind me are all filled up and I still have boxes of books. Um, I still need to get a new shelf to put them up. My goal is to have my own little library. <laughs> Question number five is what type of books do you read and what do you want to be talking about on your channel? So I would say definitely my top choice of books are fantasy or supernatural. Um, anything in that realm I will most likely love. Um, also, if there's romance in it, that's always a, a kicker for me as well. Question six, who are some of your favorite authors? I have two all-time favorite authors and they are J.K. Rowling and J.R.R. Tolkien. I know they are super popular, everyone says they're their favorites, but they truly are for me. Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, I honestly don't know what I would have done without those two series in my life. Um, I grew up with Harry Potter, I also grew up with Lord of the Rings, I was, uh, I was young when the movies first came out, so of course I did start with the movies, but then as I got a little bit older, I got into the books and... Tolkien's writing is just beautiful, amazing, and I love everything about it. So those two authors are definitely my top two. Um, I would also have to say that Darren Shan is one of my favorite authors as well. He has a couple of series out. My personal favorite is the Cirque du Freak series. If you have not uh, checked those out and you are into the supernatural stories such as vampires and werewolves and stuff, I highly recommend those. I will... Um, I plan on doing a, a video review about that whole series, so look forward to that if that sounds like something you're interested in. Question number seven is, what is the last book that you read? The last book that I finished reading is The White Queen by Philippa Gregory. Um, I just actually posted a currently reading video and I talked about this book a little bit in it. Um, I just finished reading this yesterday. It is about Elizabeth Woodville. Um, the queen to King Edward IV and the story of um, her and her family and her two sons, the, the Lost Princes of the Tower, if you are familiar with that story. Um, great story. This is the second book by Philippa Gregory that I've read now and I am already obsessed. I She's definitely going to be one of my new favorite authors. Question number eight is what are you currently reading? Like I just said, I did just post a currently reading video. Um, so I talked about a few different books there, but the one that I am currently reading right now that I am determined to finish as soon as possible is The Wise Man's Fear from the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. This is just an amazing epic story um, set in a fantastical land and it's about um, how 
the main character becomes a hero and a legend to his own people and it's just it's super amazing um, this is the second book of the series I have had it for so long that I just I'm ashamed of myself that I haven't finished it yet question number nine what do you use as bookmarks if I get bookmarks in any of my book box subscriptions I definitely use those if I have sticky notes lying around or receipts I'll use those as well but I am also that monster who will dog ear a page if I have nothing around me. I know some people think that is the worst thing that you could do to a book, um, but I don't really mind it. I feel if I pick up a book and I can see that the pages have been flipped down and been read a lot, to me that just shows that the book has received a lot of love and that's my goal for books is to just give them all the love and attention that they deserve. Question number 10 is show us your current TBR pile. So I have four books here that are my TBRs for the month of April. These bad boys right here. The first one I have on here is The Red Queen by Philippa Gregory. This is about um, Margaret Beaufort, heiress to the Lancaster house, exactly the same time as The White Queen. That was about Elizabeth Woodville. So I'm very excited to continue the story, see a different side of it, and just continue on with this series. The next one I have here is called A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This was recommended to me by a family friend. Um, I don't know much about it, but I do love stories about witches. So I'm very excited to start this, and I've heard some great things about it. The next book I have is One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake. I know uh, this is a pretty popular book among booktubers, I believe. Um, the first book of the series, it took me a while to get into. Um, I almost DNF'd it. I it was struggling to get through it, but I, I made it through, got to the end, and I'm glad I did because it really kind of picked up there at the end. And so I'm really excited to read this and see how it goes. And my last book for my April TBR is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I know this is a huge book right now. Um, I did receive this in one of my Owl Crate boxes. I believe it was February. Um, just haven't had a chance to pick it up yet, but I've been seeing so many great reviews from everybody that I decided this needs to get done as soon as possible. All right, question 11 is which do you prefer, hardbacks or paperback books? And for those, I would say hardbacks. Definitely hardbacks. I think they just look so much nicer displayed on a shelf. They're sturdier. They last you longer. So definitely hard books. Um, also, do you prefer ebooks or physical books? Absolutely physical books. I love feeling the book in my hand, smelling the pages, being able to physically turn a page and see all the progress that I've made. I do own a Kindle and I do read from it. Um, it is convenient going out of town instead of bringing a whole bag of five books that could start to weigh a lot. Um, it is convenient to have all those books in just one tiny little device, but definitely if I had the choice, I would do physical books all the way. And then the last which would you prefer is owning books or borrowing them. I would have to say owning them. Um, I am the type of person where I don't just read a book once. I reread them over and over again. So owning that book and having that capability and access to reading it whenever I want is definitely something that I would like to have. Question number 12 is what book series got you into reading? Now I have always been a reader ever since I was I think in pre-k. Um, my mom homeschooled me for a little bit when I was really young and so I started reading super early. Um, I remember when I was really little I would read books like Nancy Drew or Junie B. Jones, but the series that really kick-started my obsession with reading is definitely the Harry Potter series. Um, I really got into them, I think in about third or fourth grade. Um, I think it was fourth grade, and I would have been about 11 when I started reading them, same age as all of those students going to Hogwarts for the first time, and it was just so amazing being able to grow up with those books. Um, 
waiting for those the next release to come out going to the midnight release parties staying up till 7 in the morning reading as much of it as I could before I went to sleep um, though that series has just spoken to me on so many different levels as a child and still as an adult I read the series once a year um, I, I really don't know if I would be as obsessed and into reading and love it as much as I do if it wasn't for that series Question 13 is, how did you discover booktube? I am a part of a, a Facebook page called the Owl Crate Society, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. And I saw some people posting links to their channels on there, and I decided to watch them, and that's how I was introduced to this wonderful world of booktube. Question number 14 is, what challenges do you think you'll face with your own channel? During the day, my, my day job is a teacher, so I can get really busy at times with the grading and the lesson planning. Um, it's, it's so time consuming being a teacher. So I think the thing I'll have most trouble with is actually finding the time to not only film, but the time to read everything that I want to and film about it. Um, but I am determined to make it work. And the last question, number 15, where else can we find you? I am on pretty much any social media platform that there is. I will link all of my accounts below for um, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Goodreads. I do have my own personal blog that I do book reviews on. I will link that down below as well. Please go ahead and give me a follow on any of those if you would like to connect. Like I said earlier, my main goal for starting this channel is to make more friends in the reading community. So I would love to hear from you. Um, if you've read any of the books that I mentioned and you have comments about it, please put those down below. I love hearing what you think about it. I hope that you've enjoyed this vid video and that you get feel like you know me a little bit more now. Thanks everyone, we'll see you next time.